a lightweight, rugged, portable airstrip, able to withstand shock landing loads of all presently known fighter aircraft, yet capable of being emplaced in less than 72 hours over virtually any type of surface, then picked up and moved again. Mat sections are transported in 2,000-pound pallets, some 1,300 pallets being required for the typical SATS installation. Disassembly of the pallet and its reassembly in moving the airstrip can be accomplished with standard hand tools. Each pallet contains 11 full-length mats, 2 feet wide and 12 feet long, and 2 half-length mats. The edges of each mat have opposing male and female joints. The ends of each mat, underlapping and overlapping joints. Correct installation procedure is moving female toward male over the end joint of the adjoining mat. A lock bar inserted in each end joint provides a virtually indestructible joint. Site preparation prior to laying mats requires only minimal grading and surveying of a guideline to extend forward along the right-hand edge of the strip. At a right angle to the guideline, across the approach end of the strip site, a shallow trench is dug with a slope ranging from 15 to 30 degrees. The first five rows of mats are laid in this trench, forming a ramp the fifth row reaching the top. This and a similar disappearing ramp finishing the far end of the strip are buried, providing safeguards against the danger of a plane hooking an exposed edge. The remainder of the strip is built forward from that point, taking care to maintain alignment with the guideline on the right edge. At selected intervals, as the assembly proceeds forward, narrow strips called typical key locks are extended across the width of the strip, laid in the same manner as the mats, and their overlapping ends bolted together with Allen screws. The first key lock is put in following the fifth row of mats at the top of the ramp. An accessory tool provided makes later removal of these typical key locks easy using a truck winch or similar power. Their withdrawal provides quick access to selected sections of the strip should extensive damage necessitate mat removal and repair. A similar accessory called a starter key lock decreases installation time by allowing two crews to work simultaneously from the center of the site toward both ends of the strip. In this demonstration section, we see a technique used to remove and replace individual mats. Lines are drawn to guide a portable power saw, the first cut along a base line about three quarters of an inch from the end of the overlapping joint. The blade is set at a depth of one inch to avoid cutting into the lock bar beneath. After resetting the blade to one and five-eighths inches, deep enough to cut through the entire panel, the diagonal cuts are made, overlapping at their point of intersection. Using the same blade setting, a cut is then made down the center of the panel. Next, diagonal cuts are made at the underlapping end of the mat. Finally, with the blade at a depth of one and one-eighth inches, tilted at a 10-degree angle, a cut is made along the very edge of the mat, reaching the lock bar cavity without damaging the adjoining panel. The mat is then pried loose starting with the long center sections. The overlapping joint is then taken out. And the lock bar twisted free.
remaining triangular section now comes out easily. The replacement mat has two removable joints, painted here for demonstration purposes. One is the underlapping end joint assembly, held in place by four bolts. It includes three separate elements, which must be reassembled in the same order. They are held in proper position by an alignment pin. With the center element serving as the lock bar, the assembly is hooked into position beneath the overlapping end of the adjoining mat. The four holes in the protruding top element positioned to match those in the end of the replacement mat. The removable side joint includes a cap rail and a separate mail connection. This mail connection is fitted first. Then the mat dropped in place in the normal manner. The cap rail is bolted in place and the end of the mat secured to the previously fitted underlapping assembly. At the opposite end, set screws, which hold a lock bar in the replacement mat, are loosened, and the bar is forced into the adjacent mat lock bar cavity and secured by turning the set screws down behind it. Using this technique, three men can replace a single panel in less than 20 minutes. Accessories to the airstrip components include a right angle connector. Bolted onto the edge of the strip, it allows taxi ramps and parking areas to be extended off the main runway. Another accessory is a kit for field installation of aircraft tie-downs. The kit includes a jig to ensure proper angle, depth and spacing of holes drilled to accommodate the tie-down. Threads are tapped in the holes with a tool provided and the tie-down fastened securely in place with Allen screws. A trained crew, under most conditions, can disassemble a SATS field and stow it back in its original pallets, ready for shipping, in less than 36 hours. The AM-2 landing mat, lightweight but rugged. Built to last in all weather climates, portable and practical over any sub-base conditions. A factor to be reckoned with in this country's airborne striking force around the world.